to be back. I have been out and about doing a couple of things, being what they call the family lady and uh, taking care of my kids. I just, um, Trina said, my kids just say hello and they watch me every, every weekend. They're my, actually they're my biggest fans, my favorite fans and um, I appreciate them. Today our topic is on no regrets and while I wait on my guest to arrive, Winstina Taylor, who is a Sierra Leone actress, director, um, writer, and a humanitarian, and producer. While I'm waiting on her to arrive, um, I want to talk about some of the movies, uh, one of the movies that we uh, did. Um, I want to give a shout out to Antoine Allen, the director, the director in New York, uh, who has um, opened the door for myself and a lot of other um, fine, phenomenal actors and writers and uh, and drink, uh, just a whole lot of people. But I want you to see this movie, just a little snippet of a movie called Mama's Boy while we waiting because there's no regrets. And I'll tell you a little bit about me and um, where I am today in the no regrets. Um, and so when you hear it, when you watch it, please give it your undivided attention and let me know what you think. So we are going to uh, be watching it in one second as we get it together. But it's a snippet of Mama's Boy. It's actually um, been in a lot of different ready a lot of different uh film festivals so we're excited i found out on this interview that uh the director uh, antoine allen did that is actually becoming a series hey pastor jeremiah so i'm excited about all the great things that are happening so we get ready to watch this clip of mama's boy and then you come back and tell me what you think and then when you get older and you're older you realize damn i'm giving 80 percent to everybody else and less for me mm -hmm. try to reverse that so i love myself more take care of myself more and I think everybody should go, especially now, all the suicides and attempts. Love yourself more. Right. And the more you love yourself, know who you are, it's a beautiful feeling. Like that. Because you know, I definitely, you know, like when you're young and stuff, you know, you go through stuff, but you got to find a way to dig yourself out of yeah. it. You yeah. got to find your way to self to dig. And I'm, I'm sure that you did it with no problem. Because the movies are so. I'm not a fact, I want to see one. Which one we got loaded up? Okay, let's talk about any one you want. Uh, you have, um, Voice to Reason? Voice to Reason. No, I don't think you have that one. Okay, never mind. You have Driving Force? <laughs> Driving Force. Okay, we're gonna go with Mama's Boy. Let's go with Mama's Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I like that one. What was, what was the premise of uh, Mama's Boy? Um, my actor, Lester Green, um, he told me his backstory about his family and his moms and certain little things. And I did not talk, think about all the innocent people in jail mm -hmm. that took a case or took a charge because of someone they love. Right. And Mama's Boy was that that feeling of that mom's connection of what the things you would do for your mom. Right. And it's the ultimate love, the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, cool. We're gonna check this out. Sure enough, you gotta watch this. This is a beast. I right, just come around and stuff. Y'all go over to our Periscope. You'll be able to watch it, or go to StrongIsland.tv. You'll be able to watch it. Go ahead and start that up, uh, LA, for me, please. Pretty much. Welcome back, everybody, to Sports Talk Radio. Let's dive right in here and talk about this guy, Troy Green. Hey, what a performance last night against the Spartans. Green led the Wildcats scoring 30 points. He had 10 rebounds, 10 blocks, and 8 assists. I mean, this guy was unstoppable. He was just exciting to watch. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this kid is going to be a superstar. Troy, I wish you could see how nervous you look. Nervous? Yes, nervous. Leah, well, nervous is not the word. Do you even know who's coming here? Yes, I do, and it's not the president. Yeah, well, my mom is way more important than the president. I know, baby, I know. And you know I haven't seen her in so long since I left the house. So. Oh, but you still shouldn't be this nervous about your mom and your stepfather coming. I'm calling my stepfather, okay? I'll never acknowledge a man who sold heroin to one of my teammates, causing him to overdose. Who knows, maybe it would have been him getting a scholarship and not me. Baby, that was years ago. It doesn't matter, it could have been centuries ago. Listen, let's not do this right now. They're gonna be okay. here any minute. Okay, you're right. right, you're right. Listen, 
don't stress. Okay? All right. You got this. I right, look. You look good, boo. <laughs> <laughs> But when I banged it on that dude, I dunked on him. I was like, he gonna hurt him. Yeah. Man. Then I had all the ladies from the church <laughs> sitting around watching ESP. I was like, that's my boy. That's my boy. He can't stand it. But I was like, look, come on, y'all. And then when you have your home games, you see my big old sign? Go, Troy. Go, Troy. Go, Troy. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. I'm so proud of you, though, baby. I am. And I'm your biggest fan. I know we're finishing up, but I have some pastries here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> well, you know he's greedy. <laughs> Leah, baby, this dinner was delicious. Oh, thank you. And I'm sure your parents are so proud of you. Aww. They raised a beautiful young lady such as yourself. Oh, thank you. Now, she is a keeper. She right. And she can cook. <laughs> <laughs> Your son's about to be cooking for himself. Oh, God. Wait, you act like I don't know how to cook. Um, Troy, Captain Crunch does not count. What? Mom, you have my scrambled eggs. Okay, I can tell you the truth now, baby. Baby, I threw them things in the trash. Oh. <laughs> so did I. Hey, but that's okay. He get an E for effort. <laughs> Throwing me under the bus. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I know you would try to do everything, make me happy, but baby, I couldn't do that one. <laughs> Leah, right, do me a favor. Yes. Stop calling me Miss Thomas and call me Venice. Venice? And oh. hopefully you'll be able to call me mom in a couple of years. Mm. That is so sweet. Aw. All I need now is for your handsome son to deliver the ring to this very naked finger. And he will. Mm. <laughs> You know, once I get in the NBA, I get you a whole bunch of rings. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Just My baby up. got a scholarship, <laughs> doing what he likes to do. Well, I'm just messing around. You're going to be single. You're messing around? Okay. That's what you call that on the court? Shit, you ain't never going to be in the NBA. Earl, don't talk to my son like that. Mm-mm, you ain't coming for that. I'm surprised you got a scholarship off that. I don't know why they chose you. Mom is cool. Don't worry. You asked why they chose me, right? Sure, stop. Baby, don't say anything. I got this, babe. He wants to know, so I'm going to tell him. Maybe the reason they chose me is because that heroin you was pushing in my school caused one of my teammates to overdose. What'd you say? So what you get half your own supply now, big boy? What you going to do? Uh -uh. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. What? It is not going down like this. Uh -huh. Let's go. Calm down, Troy. You ain't going to make it to see no scholarship. Baby, look at me. Calm down. Calm, calm listen, down. Listen, yeah. listen, baby. We was, thank you for everything, so but nice we got to get up out of here because you started too I'm much sure. stuff oh, already. You, Let's go. It was so nice. Hold up, Mom. You don't got to go with this clown? I know, she baby, come but... With me. You can't control her like daddy. <laughs> Yo. Yo, baby. Girl, baby. Let's go now. What are you doing? <sighs> babe, I'm sorry your night was ruined. It's all right, babe. You know, I miss my mom so much. Yeah. <sighs> the only reason why I left is because of that guy. I can't stand him. Mm, it's crazy. <sighs> babe, I'm sorry if I've been a burden to you and your parents. I don't mean to be. It's just... Hello? Hello, Mom? Mom? Hmm. Babe, what are you doing? No, my mom just tried to call, but I heard a lot of static and shuffling. It sounded weird. But now she's not picking up. Babe, she probably butt dialed you by mistake. Go back to sleep. Hello? Mom? Hold on, baby. Mom? It sounded weird. I think I'm gonna head over there real quick. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll be right back. Promise. Oh, God. 
I'm sorry, baby. I gotta check this out. You are such a mama's boy, Troy. Baby, I'll be right back. Whatever, just hurry <laughs> up. Okay, I need you to go upstairs and change your clothes, all right? I'm gonna take care of this, okay? I swear to God, he attacked me first. I didn't do anything Stay wrong, with officer. The judge. Why are you handcuffing me? I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you handcuffing me? I got a clean record. I've never been to jail, officer. Doesn't look like I would do something like you hear that. What you said? Why are you treating me like a criminal, Get up. man? Mom! Oh, shit, man. Mom! What's going on? Mom, I'll be back. I love you, Mom. Don't worry about anything, okay? I'm gonna handle it, all right? I'm, Mom, it's gonna be yeah. all right. I'll be back. I love you, Mom. Green, you got a visit. Let's go. Come on, man, we ain't got all day. Smiling. Come on, I got all my fingers. Mike check I, one, I, two, three. I waited to see if that was going to happen. Give me a Hollywood one, two, laugh. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, okay. That is the movie Mama's Boy, um, starring Lester Green, Miguel. Uh, uh, it's just so, let me just say this to you all. Hi, Dennis. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to just give a shout out to everybody that's on the cast for Mama's Boy in New York and, um, and the great work that has been done. Uh, hi, Malcolm. Hi, everyone. I um, am excited. I want to hear your feedback on uh, what you thought about it. The call-in number is 301-442-1716. And our topic today is no regrets. And the reason why I show that um film is because um, many of you know that I am in ministry. Uh, I am I serve as a pastor. I'm an evangelist by a point by anointing and a pastor by appointment. And uh, many times when we look at people of uh, I guess religious um, things like that, we put a lot of stipulations on them. Uh, and you we we judge so much so till um, we kind of sort of put God inside of a box. And so when I he hear the topic that we're doing, no regrets, not one moment did I regret um, moving on into what I enjoy doing. Not one moment did I regret um, allowing my passion for the arts to to do, uh, 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 to, to, to just serve, serve in the arts and be an artist. Hi, Derek. Hi, Florine. Hi, Felicia. Hey. And so hi, Jacinto. Hi, everybody on Facebook Live. Um, all my listeners from all over the world, all over the country, I thank God for you. Um, once again, the topic today is no regrets. And when you are okay with who you are, and when you are okay with the decisions that you make, and when you are okay in the skin that you're in, and you're definitely okay with your relationship with God there is nothing that that people can do or say to you that can box you in since then I am um, working with these people um, since then I have done uh, uh, several different films uh, since then I'm writing films and most of you know that I'm an author but I'm writing films now and uh, just just working with people in the community the arts community it's really, really great. And so I don't let my, uh, uh, hi Teddy, I don't let uh, church or um, politics or anything like that deter uh, uh, what my decision making processes are. I don't have any regrets. Um, there are some things that have taken place in my life now uh, that I thought was going to be um, detrimental, but actually I, I don't have any regrets. Uh, I understand today that everything works out for you out good. Again, I'll call in numbers 301. Hi, Malia. 301-442-1716. That is the call in number for our topic today, No Regrets. And we're going to be working with a Sierra Leone actress. She was Sierra Leone born, uh, America raised. Uh, she's one of my dearest partners in the arts and my dear friend. I've adopted her as one of my daughters. I want you guys to see something on my DNA though, right quick. I think I said a foul called me. Um, and it was so it was amazing because a lot of my spiritual daughters are from Sierra Leone, Cameroon. My spiritual sons are from Ghana and Uganda. And when my daughter was young, she um, and now even today, she has a, a, a she loves head wraps and things like that. And me, I love foreign movies. I love Nollywood and Ghanaian movies and things like that. And so uh, my daughter did her DNA. And I think I told you about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, she did her DNA and she called me and said, Mommy, you have got to do your DNA because it says 75% of my DNA is from you and it's from West Africa. I said, oh, shoot. Okay. So I did it. And I don't know if you have my results over there, engineer. Put my results up if you can. And this is who I am. Hi, Alona. How you doing, darling? Hi, Scott. Hey, Scott. So here is my DNA. And it says Cameroon, Congo, 45%. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 31%. Benin, Togo, 9%. 
and other 10% other regions. So that is who I am. And so it was so amazing as to why, here, here she is, but we're going to take a break before I finish. Um, it's so amazing as to why when people come to my house, and I know so many different African movies and a lot of different African artists and stuff like that, and, um, and they say, well, this is why, because that's who I am. So that is my DNA. And guess what, y'all? The wonderful, wonderful, wonderful actress, we could go back, uh, is here. <laughs> I didn't even give her a chance to say hey. So we're going to take just a quick break and I'm going to I'm not going to waste any time because I definitely want to use all this time to uh spend with her, getting to you guys getting to know her. A lot of people know her, but I want my viewers, all of you from all over the world to get to know who she is. So we'll be right back in a few minutes. Say so. Radio. What you say, what you say, who the hottest on the airwaves? Say so, radio, shutting down the headset. Who provided the hottest topics on the streets? Got the market talking about it from the D M to the V. Pass the matrix round the table like a hot potato. Step to the mic and don't let it go. Wait till you say so. Who give the credit where it's due? Double L B S. Ha, nothing but the truth. Say so, say so, say so, radio. Say so, radio. Say so. on the airwaves, say so radio, shutting down the headset, who provided the hottest topics on the streets, got the market talking about it, from the DM to the V, pass the matrix round the table like a hot potato, step to the mic and don't let it go, wait till you say so, you give me credit where it's due, WLBS, ha, nothing but the truth, say so, say so, say so, radio, say so, say so, radio, Welcome back, everyone, to Say So Radio with Andre Harrison. Friends, I am here with my Sierra Leone, born USA, raised actress, director, writer, producer, you name it, she is it, and some uh, actress when Tina Taylor is in the house, they call her Tina. And let me just say, we are excited to have her. I do have a, um, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming. Okay. You gotta get in. And um, her, she, we are actually right now as we are here in the studio. You don't see him, but he is here because we're working on her reality show. <laughs> so we have another cameraman over there, my engineer back there, running running the show, and we get to just sit here, look at the camera, and look cute. Just and look talk. pretty. Just That's what we get to do. And talk. We get to talk. <laughs> so we are here at Listen Vision Studios. Now, see, my Facebook people gonna be mad at you because you in their way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we're gonna move this over a little bit so Winston let's um before we get started we just want to say thank you for joining us and let's get talk a little bit about you before you got to this place before you got here you were born in Sierra Leone but you were raised here so let's talk a little bit about that okay hi everybody <laughs> sorry for my lateness <laughs> you're right on time okay um, I was born in Sierra Leone, but I came in America at a young age, um, relocated because my parents moved here. So I've been here for almost, I would say, 24 years. So I basically grew up in America, but at the same time, I wasn't born here. So I have both cultures. I have the African culture and the American culture mixed up in me somehow, some way. <laughs> <laughs> So I know both parts. Mm -hmm. I had to live on both ends of the street, I would say. So it's a good thing, and it makes me more cultural and humble, and I know the different aspect of how the struggle is versus the good life. Because some people might say it's a, it's a struggle, but it's not. You get 
you get to live best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you uh, you you came here and you took off running and you did everything you had to do to get to a place. Our topic today is called no regrets, and um, and and we all we all know that there are things that happen in our life that we tend to think are happening to us, but in truthfully it's. Truthfully, truthfully speaking, it's happening for us. In your case, what is it that you thought that would be the detriment of your life that is now like, I don't regret none of it? Uh, honestly speaking, as a teenager or growing up, like I said, in America, like taking me back or going back, um, I, I had a child at a young age. Mm -hmm. So sometimes once you have a child at a young age, you think that's the end of your life or that's mm -hmm. the end of your rope, but which is not. It kind of made me stronger, and it kind of made me the person that I am today. Because probably if I didn't have her, I wouldn't have learned responsibility. I wouldn't have learned the power of God, I would say, because with that, it builds you. Especially being, as I said, African, mm -hmm. growing up in America, and then you end up getting pregnant. It's like the whole, you're shaming the entire village. Mm -hmm. So that's how it felt at that time. So I'm thinking, oh, my God, I done did the wrong thing. I done did this. My world is ending. Why did I do this? But now as I grow older, I realize that was my strength. That was my cross that I had to bear, and I just had to make sure I do it the proper way. So a lot of things I wanted to do, I had to put them aside so I can raise my daughter. But now I believe it's my strength, and I'm very, very happy I made that decision, and it made me stronger and made me who I am today. And her daughter, believe it or not, looks like her sister. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay? Okay. <laughs> It seems, you know, and my daughter the same way. She's 36 almost, but my daughter, she looks like my sister. And so when we hang out in the street, hey, mom, like, shh. <laughs> Stop that. So our call in number is 301-442-1716. Hey, Charles, hey, Renard, hi, everybody. Hi, Michelle, everybody, Donna, all you guys that are on Facebook. But I always want to shout out to those that are in Ghana, those are, that are in Pakistan that watches us faithfully. China, you guys fa watch us faithfully. Cities, countries that I've never heard of before watch us live. So we want to um, thank God for you. We don't take it lightly that you join us. Um, so we know that you were in several movies and we had a little clip it a uh, bow tie oh okay <laughs> um and uh it's it's amazing um the work you you're actually the lead are you a lead in that one yes you're a lead in that one and um i think i have it up there youtube clip of a just a yeah could you could you click that on for me and we're gonna watch that and tell us a little bit about your movies because okay. i got uh we know you did nurses from hell boxing day um and what else there's just so many that i have i thought i wrote down but maybe i didn't but i saw the reviews from the love games i saw that one and uh another one with the blood what is it the uh meister's blood or somebody's blood you had several movies. That's okay. It's all on IMDb. <laughs> but anyway, so let's watch this little snippet of Bowtie and tell us about it and how, where was it filmed at, um, you know, all the work that you had to put in for this and the other uh, actors uh, that you've worked with here on this show. Okay. All right. <laughs>
about that's a action action pack yes so tell us about this bow tie bow tie so bow tie is wow i'll say bow tie is an action pack movie i've mm-hmm. never done action this is my first time ever <laughs> wow so. you, you you brung it go ahead shoot me you brought it huh. so bow tie is co-produced by Ademi. uh mm-hmm. he's the one that wrote it and directed and both of us Produced it in Sierra Leone. Okay. So uh, it's the first action pack movie that we did that we bought back. Hopefully we'll be premiering it September. Okay. That's what we're looking at. But it's going to be very, very interesting and it's going to be very good because it's something different that I've never done before. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to actually what I brought to it. And yeah. I think I did my best. <laughs> I, you know, the funny thing about it when you were doing, taking on roles and things, it's, it's coming out of our comfort zone. Yeah. And um, currently, a lot of the roles that I, all I do is mothers, the mother role. And um, so the director in New York, Antoine Allen, was saying to me, there's another role that I want you to play. Yes, you're a mother, but you're going to be a badass. You're going to be shooting you. I'm like, oh, am I? Am I? Because most times I'm praying for somebody. But... uh, But I'm excited. So, and I'm also excited to see you step yeah. outside of your comfort zone of what you normally do. So, you've done also Nurses from Hell. Yes, Nurses from Hell. <laughs> oh, now the, the director. Uh, there was a. There was someone uh, the, from the. What is it? The, the what is it? The Curtis Awards. Yeah. It was okay. John the, Uche. Yeah, yeah the, the Curtis Awards. Uh, they said that um, you chose to put a human face on the inhuman events that happens at a hospital and let me tell you something y'all were off the chain on that one and 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 you work with some wonderful people so tell me how it is uh because you travel between here and out of the country kind of sort of regularly like it's like a job yes and i've noticed that a lot of your filming is done um in out of the country and some and then you cross over and bring some of it here yes so how does that work for you uh, it's, it's exciting because I get to go to different countries to film. It's tedious because I get to leave my kids. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I enjoy it because that's, I believe I was born to act. And wherever it takes me, as long as I get to do my passion and what I love to do, I'm all for it. I'm ready to go. That's amazing when you talk about that because I remember um, as you and I have t- had several conversations and I remember you wanted to actually... You love the arts, but your parents had something else in mind for you. And when they realized how how wholeheartedly you felt towards this, they started supporting you. Like, yes. go do it. Yes. It it's basically brings me back, like I said, I had a daughter when I was young. Because my number one mission or my goal was to graduate high school and go to New York Film Academy. Mm-hmm. That was what was in my head. But now after having my daughter, I had to make a decision. Should I go for it or take care of my responsibility? So I kind of choose, let me take care of my responsibility. But then it feels like I left something behind. So 
my parents know that, especially my mom, God bless her heart, she support me like 110% with whatever I want to do, however I want to do it. So after I graduate from college, she said, you know what, I know you always love this, so this is something that is missing from you. So she said, go ahead, however I can help you, whatever resource you need, I'm there 110%. So that makes me very, very happy. Mm -hmm. And I, ever since then, that's all she needed to say. I, I just took off. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 you know, watching you and, and, and you have a humanitarian side to you. That's how the, the passionate part, the nonprofit and things like that. And I want to talk a little bit about that nonprofit that you do with the, um, the is it the children with disabilities in the D.C. area? Yeah. You're, yeah. Talk about that. So we mostly is a charity. It's called Immaculate Charity. So we focus on trying to help the helpless, trying to. We're focused more also in Africa, in the district. Whenever we're able to, we'll feed, give, um, especially if somebody needs help or if there's anything needed, we'll help on that aspect. And then at the same time, we focus also in, in, in Africa to mm -hmm. educate and try to help as many people as possible. So we feed and clothe uh, the needy and the poor in Africa. We try to educate and put up some educational uh, things, especially about hygiene, hand sanitization, disease process. So those are some of the things I do because without that aspect in your life, it's like, what's the point of living? Right. It's like there's no point to right. me. If you can't help, the helpless or you can't help people that need help mm -hmm. what's what's the purpose that's right and you know it's, it's always about giving back it's yeah. always I, I don't care how much you you gain if you don't have any passion or purpose you know how how do you manage um You've worked with some of the most wonderful people, and and one of the the guys just got married, John Demelio. Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> he just got married, and I was looking at his wedding pictures. He had some of everybody there, yes. and you've worked with one of my one of my favorite artists, Van Vicker. I just love Van. <laughs> I love it. How does it how does it feel when you go back home? Hey Antoine Allen, the producer, the director, we just watched Mama's Boy earlier. Um, how does it feel when you go back to film and then you have to leave and then you go how does it how does it, your home bodies feel when you have to leave and come back here? <laughs> Honestly, if I would say if I didn't have kids, I probably wouldn't want to come back. Okay. But it's like when you leave out of the country or you leave out of your comfort zone. Is to me most of the time it even brings the best out of you when you live out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. because it makes you embedded the character makes you go. But I miss my kids, I miss my family, so I'm like, okay, I'm happy to come back. But once I see them, I get a dose of them. I'm like, I want to go back. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like. I, I used to say, well, when is Antoine going to call me? When is Sonny going to call me? Yeah. I was looking at a, um, a, a one of my um, one of the directors that I've worked with. He's actually given me my very first film when I got into film. Um, his name is. Ray Jones and I saw something the other night said casting a Christian film of a mother this that and the other I was like I called him I said look what, what are we doing he said I really thought about you on this road <laughs> but I'm looking forward to filming actually out of the country and you and I have talked about that actually you and I have collaborated together yeah. On a project, and trust me, it's not sitting in the stove. <laughs> no. Trust me, believe we're just busy, but we got most of it done. Yeah. So let's talk about that collaboration project that we're doing called "For the Love of Vanessa." Yes. Um, for the love of Vanessa is basically, as we all know, my passion is more so on disabled or try to help the helpless. Mm -hmm. So that storyline is based on the disadvantage and the advantage that is taken against people that are disabled, mm -hmm. people that are not mentally, like the accuracy is not 100%. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean because it's not 100%, you should take advantage of them. So mm -hmm. we're trying to educate people, we're trying to give them like scenarios or timeline on what people do that take advantage of them, mm -hmm. and also the the disadvantage, or I'll say the struggle that the family member and the loved one goes through mm -hmm. that love this particular individual. Because mm -hmm. they're human. They're just like you and I. It's just maybe their accuracy is a little below normal, but that doesn't mean they're not human. That doesn't mean that they don't want to be loved. That doesn't mean that they don't want to eat. They don't want to function. They don't want to be loved. They don't want husbands, wife. It's just all of those mixed up in one. So it's just to educate people to say, wow, yeah, to see it in a different point. 
And that's amazing because the thing that that brought us together was some years ago. (laughs) Some years ago, one of my nurses said, you need to meet Tina Teller. She does the same thing you do. She has a passion for people with disabilities, and she's a writer and an actress, just like you, Miss Harris. I was like, okay. So years ago, I reached out to her. She didn't reach back out. (laughs) Then... Then hear me out now. My son was, uh, my son is disabled and he had phased out of a childhood nursing agency and he had to go into an adult agency. And what agency that we end up with was immaculate. And it was so crazy because when we talked on the phone, we talked last year, some before, and we got on the phone and I was like, wait a minute, is this Tina Taylor, the actress? The so-and-so. She's like, yes. I said, well, this is Miss Harris. The one, and we, I mean, it's almost like we never missed yeah, a beat because God's timing is always the best timing. And so when we got with, with the, um, for the love of Vanessa, we got to brainstorm and, you know, we were able to be open-minded to one another's um, ideas and things like that. And it just felt like a hand in glove, like a really good match and wasn't no animosity. No, and I've been through that. We, we both have had our share of that hanging out with people and dealing with people who were vision killers and dream stealers and will also take ideas that God had put in us and they took it and ran with it themselves. However, we don't have any regrets about it because it worked out for us. It didn't happen to us. It worked out for us. Um, So what would you tell somebody, our viewers that are watching, uh, what would you tell them that are really, really torn between trying to do what their passion is and trying to do what the norm is? I would just say, if you want to be miserable, go for the norm. <laughs> if you want to be happy and fulfilled, and you don't want at the end of the your cause, at the hey, end of your lifetime... The- God will question you. What did you do with the talent that I bestowed upon you? What have you done with it? Why are you bringing it back to me? Because when he give it to you, it's for you to unfold it. Mm -hmm. It's for you to give it out. It's for you to spread the word out. It's not for you to keep it. it? You put it in a box and you die. What's going to happen to it? You kill it with you. And then you have to answer those questions. So the best thing to do is flourish, move. The sky's your limit. You got wings. Fly like you Superman. You don't need nothing else. Superman don't have no wings. All he do is just put on, just fly. That's so right. So you just got to keep going. Don't go with the norm because you're not supposed to. Because if you're supposed to be a norm, then you won't have the talent you have. You won't have the vision you have. You won't be sleeping at night and have sleepless night because you're thinking, should I do this, should I not? Once you have it in you, just go for it. If people tell you you can, all you need is that one motivational person in your life and that if there's no one, if God is your pedestal, he's your friend. I always tell people, the Bible has so many friends, I don't need no other friend. Hello. Because John is there, Matthew is there, it's so many of them that... Paul's you, there, Peter's there. there. You know, there's so much, <laughs> like, but at the same time, we're human. Sometimes we need a human comfort. So if you have that one person that believes in you, trust me, that's all you need to that's sow the need. seed and keep going. Now, you have done so many events. You had to host events, uh... Uh, you have to show up at events. You have to do. And as a matter of fact, wait a minute, wait a minute. She just had a birthday. Yeah. So y'all know y'all got to come join in with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Had to give it to her. Now you know, she's having this big old party. <laughs> and you know, let me tell y'all something about Africans, okay? Any country in Africa, when they party, baby, they party. So if they tell you the party starts at 9, you might want to show up around 11 or 12. If they say it's over at 1, stay prepared to about 4 or 5. And don't start judging and all that kind of crap. Bring your little flip-flops with you if you can't walk in your stilettos all day. Because they're going to party. So I asked her the other night. I said, listen. I said, okay, now, Miss Tina, what is the itinerary? Because I got to catch up, you know. I know it's her party, so she's going to probably have all these different change of clothes and things like that. I just need to have one dress that stands out and makes it look like I'm her mother. Okay? That's all. You know, that's it. Now, I understand a lot of my uh, nurses that also work with, they always talk so much about your mom, about um, and about you and the, just the work that you do. And how do you b- find time, uh, Tina, to balance between your profession and your passion? Uh, it's, it's a struggle, but somehow, some way, God always gives you that 
that 25 hours. Because <laughs> 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 it's 24, but somehow, so that that, that 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 yeah. second win, boom. Yes, yes. Wow. So it takes, like, you really, really got to manage your time. You really have to know what you want, know your vision, and just get that extra strength to just, even when you're tired, you just keep moving. Keep moving. Be like, the pain is just for a moment. It's going to go out. So... Tell us what's in the cards for Tina now. What's happening with Tina now? Other than I know we're doing a reality show with you. Uh, we, you, you have so much going on. But what is right there on the top of the burner right now? What's burning, brewing right now? Right now, I'm putting on a premiere for About Your Sister. That's a movie that was done in Sierra Leone by a whole Sierra Leone-based cast. So all the cast, 100% is Sierra Leone. It was done in Sierra Leone. It just did take like, the story of cultural Sierra Leone, try to put Sierra Leone on the map in a positive limelight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have the premiere on August the 12th, So which I'm hosting here because none of the... Uh, some of the cast members are here, but 90% of them are in Sierra Leone. Okay. So it's just to try to so showcase them and try to give them wins so people can see what we do in Sierra Leone as well. So I think it will be good. And I have Bowtie coming out. I yes. have my reality show coming. Yes. So I have so many things cooking. So hopefully God will just make it win. Make it's going it to so happen. It's going to happen. And we still got For the Love of Vanessa. For, that's, a, that's a movie that the both of us are writing together yes. for the love of Vanessa. And it's so beautiful because... It's when we get together though, our adrenaline be like we on drugs or something. Yes. I was like, well, let's do this, and she's like, okay, but no, this is. It's like, okay, all right. I think we went to we went to a restaurant. We sat there. I think we shut the club down. Okay, yes, they, we don't even they remember. Had they had to out. kick us out because we were just steadily going. Thank you, Daryl. Hey, James. And so I um, am excited for you. Uh, I do have some pictures on there with her Facebook and her uh, website on there. It says WT one zero zero or something like. That that i want people to be able to reach out to her she, reach out to west tina she is on facebook she is on instagram and she is on she has her own web website and it's called westtinateller.com but i think those pictures are on there the, the, the last file that i sent you uh, nope but keep it moving they're there keep it moving they're there there's some single ones a file that i sent Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, tell the people uh, where they can reach you at while we get this ready. Okay. I can be reached on social media. All you have to do is just win Stina Taylor on all the social media outlets from Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, whatever social media you can find is just win Stina Taylor. And then you can, follow, you can also go on my website and get the latest about mm -hmm. what I do. She has I been do. awarded so many awards. You would have to go on her website to catch that because <laughs> yes. there are quite a few. And I'm, I'm very honored that she even took the time out of her crazy. When I tell you, her crazy, <laughs> crazy, and I know it's crazy because my schedule's yes. crazy, but we have no regrets. Um, no. And I just want to say to you, back in April, I was facing a really, really bad period in my life, and every single day, you kept texting me some words of encouragement, you know, let not your head fall, you know, bow your head down in shame, you know, God is the rewarder, he's the lift of your head. I mean, so many things that you empower, even myself, because everybody knows, I said it before, that I I'm a licensed, I'm an ordained preacher. But at the end of the day, even, even Paul and Peter and Jesus, everybody needed comforting. You know, um, everybody needed to go to a source. And I'm glad that God placed you here in my life, not only as a partner, but as one of my daughters, but just because you were an encourager. And so we have no regrets. We are on the other side. And now there's ain't nothing but just put the dust under our feet and keep it moving. Yeah. So... Uh, go ahead and give us some last words, what you want to say, how you want to say it. It's all yours. <laughs> well, my last word, as I always say, is follow your heart. Follow your dreams, whatever you're doing. If people say you can't do it, just believe in yourself. You just need one person to believe in you. That's you. Nobody else needs to believe in you. And you just keep pushing, keep going, never give up, never, mm -hmm. never. Even if you're tired, figure out a way, have that last strength, and just keep pushing. Because at the end of the day, 
like I said, whatever gift that God gave you, you have to make sure you empty it all the way till when you go back. It was like, okay, well done, my daughter. Or well mm -hmm. done, my son. So that's all it is. But don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. The sky's your limit. And if you do have talent or you think you have talent, yeah. just email us. Yes. Email. We don't. We try not to push anybody to the side because we know what it's like to want that one break. Yeah. Now you're not going to go to a doctor and there's no that has no experience and say, "Let me uh, get that one break to operate on somebody." Mm -hmm. No. So just come up with people who have the arts in their heart and would have your best interest in heart. You you know, take a role as extras. I've took a lot of extra roles before I began to get major roles. And I remember Antoine Allen saying to me, validate yourself. While you're waiting for people to tell you whether you're good enough, make yourself good enough. Yeah. And some of the films that I wrote, I had other people in it, and he just rejected it. I was like, well, how dare him? But he was like, no, this is your season. If you're not going to be in it, then don't write it. When I hooked up with Tina, she's in everything she writes. Yeah. <laughs> everything that she has her hands in, she's actually in it. So I appreciate you. I applaud you for taking your time out to come here. We Come in over here, the cameraman. Come in the camera. Now, I mean, he's a reality show person. <laughs> but you guys may want him, somebody to do some work. So you got to get in the camera. No, you got to come around <laughs> here. You got to put your camera down for a second. Introduce he's yourself he's so that... The, the, the engineer, so that our people can know who you are. Come on in here with your USA shirt on. Introduce your hat on. Introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Nana Say Chairman Sakre, director from Flash Africa. I'm okay. All the way back in Ghana. He's all the way back in Ghana. My spiritual son lives in Ghana. You know, I'm 31% Ghanaian. Oh, really? Yes. Great, great, and 45% percent Cameroon and Congo. Which part of Ghana you do? I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> That's where y'all gonna help me. I don't know where it is. They just told what, me. What day were you born? 63. 19. Day. What day? day? December. Day. Day. 21st. Day. day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, I don't know. That's my mother. <laughs> it was nighttime. How you know today? By what? knowing the day, you will know where I'll know, she's I'll from. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I'll, really? I'll give her a Ghanaian name. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> From the day? Yeah. Mom, are you still on here? Because my mother was watching. Let me see if she's still on here. Mommy, are you here? You need to call and tell him what day I was born. I know the date. He said the day. What day was I, I was born, born mother? Sunday. You was born on Sunday? Ah. Yeah. Really? Akosia. Yeah. So that's my Ghanaian name. Oh, yeah, okay. I hope I got it right, though. <laughs> well, I'm waiting on my Ghanaian name in a minute. So my mother, they had a family reunion today, so they might not call me till tonight. But I'm going to get back with you. Great. So do, are you on, Insta on uh, social media? Yeah, we're on social media. Okay, right. under on Flash, Flash Africa? Flash Africa, all the social media platforms. Okay, but that's out of the country. So if we want to bring you here to have you do some work with us and things like that, you are available for that? Yeah. Y'all yeah. heard that right? You can get through too with Stina. She, yeah. she, she's good. She's good. This, this is the go to. This is the go to. All right. So don't think that you can go around because this is the go to. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. Until next time, keep living, keep giving, but most of all, keep loving. This is my special guest, Winstina Taylor. Look her up Instagram, social media, everywhere. Sierra Leone, God, Nollywood, Hollywood, you'll find her. Thank you for having me. Really, really appreciate you. Love you. Love everybody. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.